What's going on? We back with another one. It's your boy CJ Goodfellas. Enter that box and talk. Shout out to everybody following the movement, subscribing. You know, we're going to keep this good shit rolling, get this good content going. And, um, you know, some more information coming out um, about this Conor, Conor McGregor, Paula Mananaji sparring thing. And um, I guess the little all access thing was showing a different view of it. And, um, you know, pretty much Paulie wasn't brought in from what they're saying to be a, a sparring partner. You know, Conor McGregor brought him in to prove a point that he could whoop his ass in the boxing ring um, after Paul Mononaji, you know, basically disrespected him uh, last year in December, saying that, um, you know, even a cameraman can be competitive with McGregor in a boxing ring. So, basically, it was never uh, a partnership, a team, nothing team. It was, it was, he was never a part of the team. And uh, McGregor went out his way, even if, you know, Paulie did embarrass him, to make it seem like um, he was embarrassing Paul Malinaji and sparring by, you know, having people post pictures with his hand behind his back, you know, having Paulie look um, face beat up and, um, you know, show, look, making it look like he was beating his ass. Um, but, you know, he did it to other sparring partners by putting a knee in, in, in the other guy's back, um, the black guy back he was doing, and, and it's just... You know, I think he's pretty much having fun, you know, with the whole experience and Conor McGregor. But at a point with Paul Malinaji, he just made it, it made it his, his just due to to um to throw dirt on Paulie's name as much as he can, and to make it look like it it wasn't competitive in there. But um, like I said, Paulie is a retired boxer, not a commentator, and I think you know a, mar- a large part of uh, coming to that camp for him wasn't even whatever money they was offering. It was a point to to. Mark the fight for Showtime. It was a point to spy for Al Heyman and um, Floyd Mayweather to see how good McGregor really was in the boxing ring because there's really no tape on McGregor exclusively boxing. And, and pretty much that's his large advantage. Uh, the surprise of the unknown versus Floyd Mayweather. Not knowing what to expect. And I think Paul Malinowski did his due diligence and did his job on the behalf of Showtime and Floyd Mayweather to report on what happened in that camp. And, um, you know, Paulie and Floyd does have rela- do have a relationship. You, call- they, you know, Floyd called him um, after one of his fights as well. I forgot what fight it was. Um, and called, you know, Fight Hype and talked to Paulie personally. So they do have a personal relationship. And, um, you know, I'm going to spin it this way, man. Conor McGregor now has a history in boxing of editing footage and putting out bullshit versus Chris Van Deer and making it seem like he was doing well versus Chris Van Deer. And Chris Bandier put out the real footage, which it doesn't even look like he was going 100% on Conor McGregor. He's beating that ass. At this point, I don't know if Paulie could be on par with Chris Bandier or he could be a couple levels below him, um, him being retired. And in the way that that sparring with Chris Bandier wasn't even really giving 100% uh, was going, I can tell you that I do believe Paul and Malinaji when he said he beat Conor McGregor ass from day one. Um, no way in hell should a guy who... You know, didn't work out all the week before he came to spar back with you. Got off a 24-hour flight, directly off a flight to, I guess that was in Ireland. Gets off the plane and goes 12 rounds with you. That just doesn't sound right, you know. A guy that's out of shape, retired, past his prime, um, you know, can't punch, you know, but can box. Um, Older, was probably almost 40, late 30s. And, you know, he, he mentally... Um, in his head, didn't think he can go 12 rounds. And he went 12 rounds with you, and he said he whooped, his, whooped your ass, okay? Um, even if he just made it to the 12 rounds and it was competitive with Paul and Malinaji, who's not even a real welterweight, and you were, what, fighting at 154 pounds, and he was able to keep up with you, and then, like he said, he beat, his, beat your ass off a 24-hour flight with no rest, right off, fresh off the flight, and he beat your ass for 12 rounds. It, it was even... Comparable, even close for 12 rounds. Can't tell me Floyd Mayweather about to handle this guy. And, and if, you know, Conor, Conor McGregor said, oh, I beat his ass, you know. Well, show the tape if you beat his ass. Unedited. And he ain't going to show that tape. And a lot of people were clowning. Jalen Rose and, uh, was clowning Paul Malinaji for coming out and uh, speaking up. He said, man, you should just shut up and basically play your role. I'm paraphrasing. To sell and market this fight. You know, real people who know boxing know this shit is a joke. And maybe whether going to run through them. Um, and Paulie was supposed to shut up and not say nothing. But anybody that knows Paulie Malinaji knows that's not Paulie. 
And you're not going to let, you know, somebody uh, throw dirt on Paulie Madanaji's, uh legacy. That's just Paulie. He's a real truth spitter, but um, it is what it is, man. Can't wait till this shit is over. We gone.